everyone, I'm out here exploring my backyard today. Did you know that just by making observations in your community, you can help contribute to scientific research? One problem a lot of scientists face is getting enough data for their research. And a solution that can sometimes help is citizen science. Citizen science is when the general public, people like you, me, anyone, help contribute to collecting data. These types of projects can help contribute to research in all sorts of types of science, from zoology and ecology, to meteorology and astronomy. These types of projects have been around for a while. For example, in ancient China, the general population helped collect information on locust migrations, as the locusts were killing off a lot of their crops. Another classic example of citizen science is the Christmas Day bird count, sponsored by the Audubon Society. Around Christmas time, volunteers all across the country make observations of bird species. This has been around since the 1900s. These observations help scientists look for patterns and can help with conservation efforts. Modern technology has made citizen science a lot easier. You can take pictures of observations with your phone and it'll track where it was, when it was, really important information. One such tool you can use to contribute to scientific research is an app called iNaturalist. So next time you're out in nature, take a picture of the things you observe. You can take pictures of insects, animals, plants, whatever species you find. Then, with your parents' permission of course, go ahead and download the app iNaturalist. Once you have the app, go ahead and click on the Observe button to upload pictures of your observation. You can upload multiple pictures of the same individual from different angles. Then the app will suggest what the species might be. This is great because even if you aren't sure what the species is, you can learn something new. So take a guess of what you think the species might be. Then click the share button to upload your observation. Once you share your observation, other people from the iNaturalist community can crowdsource or double check your observation to make sure that it is properly identified. Once you have multiple identifications agreeing on what the species is, your observation becomes research grade and at this point can be used for scientific research. In fact, hundreds of scientific papers have been published so far using data from iNaturalist. So get out there and explore the species present in your community contribute to scientific research, and as always, remember that you are brilliant. See you next time!